of that song and it says day by day the Lord of peace these three things I pray to see you more clearly love you more dearly and follow you more nearly day by day it is a prayer a wonderful prayer to see God how eh? more clearly to love him how more dearly and to follow him how more nearly more closely and that is the only way we can escape deception to see God clearly to love him dearly and to follow him closely if you don't follow him closely then we bring the tradition between you and Christ and we see tradition. They will place tradition. The gap you are living between you and Christ. They will occupy it with tradition. Woman tradition. And you begin to see tradition. You will not be able to see Christ. Day by day. The Lord of peace. Three things I pray. To see the more clearly. Love the more clearly. Follow the morning day by day, day by day, day by day. The Lord of peace, three things I pray to see the more clearly. Love the morning follow the morning one more time, one more time, one more time. Oh, day by day, the Lord of the peace, three things I pray to see my love, 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 for the love, 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 Oh, my song every day. My song every day Shall we turn it to prayer And ask God Let me see you clearly Let me see you clearly I want to know you I want to know you Lord Let me see you clearly Remove every obstacle Whatever is blurring my sight, whatever is blocking my sight, Lord, remove them. Let me see you clearly. Let me see your word clearly. Let me understand your mind. Let me understand your will. Shall we begin to pray? Shall we begin to talk to God? I hope you are praying. Can we pray to God? Don't let the smell of the love rice distract you. Pray to God. The best way to know fake is to know the original. You don't learn to know fake. You know the original and when you know the original, you will know fake. Immediately you see fake, you will know it. But if you don't know original, there is no how many times you learn learn how to detect fake. You will be fake at the end of the day. But if you know the original, if you know the original, 
Immediately you see fake, you will identify it. You will know that this is fake. Pray to God. That God will help you. He will show himself to you. You will know him more clearly. You will see him more clearly. You will love him more dearly. You will follow him more nearly, closely. Back to back, you will follow God. Paul said, let no man, no man, irrespective of status or qualification, let no man deceive you. Let no one, no man, let no man deceive you. It's only the truth that set free. The Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. If you don't know the truth, you will not be free. It is not prayer that set free. It is the truth. Because if you know the truth, you will even pray rightly. It is the truth that set free. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Pray to God. This is the only time we are praying. I want you to pray as the Holy Spirit is helping you, as He's bringing those prayer points. Pray to God that God will help you to see, to see clearly, to see Jesus. Oh, Holy Ghost, do it again. Ah, do it again in my life. Ah, open my eyes. To see Jesus seated upon the throne, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, do it again. I do it again in my life today. Open my eyes to see Jesus. I see that. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, do it again. I do it again. says and when they woke up they see no man except Jesus. Paul the apostle said I don't want to know anything among you except Jesus and he crucified. Anyone who is presenting any other thing to you apart from Jesus is presenting human traditions. Pray that God will open your eyes. See Jesus and no one but Jesus. You will not know one but Jesus. Pressing on the upward way, new heights I'm gaining every day. Still pray, sigh your word now. My prayer meet on high, yeah. Lord, lift me up, Lord, lift me.
Thank you. We worship you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We exalt your name because the Bible says the entrance of your word brings that understanding is simple. Lord, the simplicity of your word that has come to us from the various teachers this morning and this afternoon, we pray that your word that we've had this day, Lord Jesus, we bear fruition in our heart in the name of Jesus. When the Bible talks about the parable of the sword, it says some fell on a thorny ground. Lord Jesus, where your word has been sown in our heart this day, we pray that there will be fruition in the name of Jesus. We pray that there will be fruition in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in John 17, something, it says, Sanctify them through thy word. Oh Lord, your word is true. Lord, if your word is true according to your word, the sanctification, this consecration, the setting apart, the power of dedication that was set on the part as Christians. Lord Jesus, let it accomplish this word in the name of Jesus. That this word will not stand against us. As we've heard, there is no ignorance for not doing your word. The problem is not in the hearing of the word. We have gone to many camp meetings. We have had different preachers teach the word of God. But all these things do not snowball into fruition, bearing the fruit of righteousness among your people. Lord, what we ask this day is that as we go out of this meeting, that we will go with the fire of revival. That should come with your wall in the name of Jesus. We are more than 100 here, Lord Jesus. You know, a man called John G. Lake, a man called William in Azusa Revival, a lot of men, a man that caused the Welsh Revival would be praying in his room and we're meant to understand that people will fall down in conviction of their sin. Lord Jesus, the 
this is the evidence. We won among your people. The people you are going to raise that will stand against the doctrine of men that will be bold enough to go and challenge those doctrines in our different denominations. Lord, we ask this boldness, this action, this spirit that comes with your war. Let it go with us to cause revival in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Father, I pray lastly that that particular person you have risen, you will raise to cause the multiplication of this war among God's today. Let that person go with that anointing in the name of Jesus. John the Baptist is the greatest of all the prophets. But the Bible said the least among us here is greater than John the Baptist. Lord, that anointing, John the Baptist never, never, never conducted one single miracle. But he is considered the greatest. Lord Jesus, the anointing that will fall upon that person or those group of people that will go out to cause the needed revival upon Nigeria, upon our yesterday, upon the world. Let it fall upon your people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we are praying.